Well, COPO stands for Central Office Production Order. Unless you were a GM dealer in the know, you had no clue that it was a 427, 425 horsepower stuffed into this little Camaro. And it was also the basis for a couple of the other great cars. Don Yanko's deal, 200 of these Copos were shipped to his dealership. He converted them to Yanko's. But that's not even the rarest of all Camaros. You had the ZL1, which only 69 of those cars were built. But all of it started with a factory 427, just like this car here. Well, how good were these cars? Well, we've done road tests. We've done the muscle car shootout. These cars out of the box ran a high 13, low 14 if you didn't touch a thing. Well, this car here isn't exactly stock, but awfully close. We bolted on a set of headers on this car, and we've been thrashing it all day long. We got the car in basically stock trim other than the exhaust down to a 1301, almost a 12 second car in relatively stock trim with a day worth of tuning. That's my idea of a dream car. Well, what made the Copo special was the L72 option, the 427, 425 horse. Four bolt main, steel crank and rods, got a mechanical cam in it, solid lifters, the thing worked really slick. A 780 Holley on top of an aluminum intake, and on is 425 horsepower, and lots of torque to boot. Well, when you got a Copo, you had two options in training. You either had a four-speed, like this one here with an M22, or you had the Turbo 400 automatic. The rear end with the F41 suspension, you got a 12-bolt 410 special ring and pinion, which was heat-treated, the different shocks, and a really nice working package. And of course, all Copos came with a Harrison four-core rad to keep it cool. Well, as far as driving around on the street, you got more horsepower than you ever need. And as far as handling, it's not that bad, actually. The brakes, all Copos came with this power brakes up front. Now this car doesn't have power steering, so it's a little tougher in the parking lot, but I'll tell you, the road gives you a lot of feedback without the power steering. The GM unit, originally on these cars, you know, Z28s and that, it just didn't feel right. Well, the car is just as much fun to drive on the street as it is at the track. Now this isn't a number one car. The car, again, is a number two car. The car's got great paint, beautiful chrome on it, nicely detailed under the hood. Like I said, it has a set of headers, so it's not bone bone stock. It's got the polyglass tires, a nice original interior. But what makes this car valuable, it's guaranteed a Copo. It's got GM of Canada paperwork. It's got the CE block, which a lot of these cars, they were blown up first month, first week. This car here has got the original CE block still in it. Now, M22 makes this car work real well, as well as that 410 Posi. All around, it's a great run and driving car, great paperwork. It's going to go up in value, especially with ZL1s now approaching seven and eight hundred thousand dollars. Yanko's approaching three hundred. Watch out for this car; it's going to keep going. Even today, the car is still worth one hundred and seventy thousand dollars.